Because the commandments tell you, the first four tell you how to love God, the last six tell you how to love your fellow man. And to, to excuse one, <clears throat> to say the Sabbath is not important, you know, you're really um, treading on thin ice to say that, to think that it's not important to God. And to think that there's not a blessing associated with keeping the Sabbath. I don't have time to turn up to all these scriptures, but there's scriptures that talks about the Sabbath that says, look, you keep my Sabbath and I will cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth. I will bless you with the heritage of Jacob. I mean, you know, there's a lot of blessings connected with keeping the Sabbath and honoring the Sabbath. And the thing about it is we have lost so much knowledge and information by the break with the Sabbath. You know, very quickly in, in church history, the Sabbath was abandoned for Sunday worship, the first day of the week, and the holy days of God were abandoned for Christmas and Easter. And those two, the Sabbaths and the holy days, in fact, the holy days are referred to as God's Sabbaths, plural, not just the weekly Sabbath, but the annual holy days of God. But the breaking off of that those two things, the Sabbath day and the holy days, has led us to the religious condition that people are in today, where they are just, basically they are ignorant of God's plan, God's purpose for their life, what's it all about, why did God create me, you know, what is God doing through mankind. I mean, the holy days reveal what God is doing through mankind. And we go back again to the book of Genesis and we realize the importance of the Sabbath. At the first church service, you don't even read about it until 2,000 years later, but what they had was the seventh day Sabbath that always kept them mindful of who God was and who God is and what God is doing. A day of connecting up with God. Now, I want to tell you something, the Sabbath is important. And one day you will have to answer to God why you didn't keep it. One day God's gonna ask you, why do you go to church on Sunday? And um, I don't know what your answer is gonna be, but I know what my answer is gonna be when God said, why do you keep my Sabbath? I'm gonna to point to the fourth commandment and say, well, because you said so. And I think that's good enough. And that's what's really in your Bible. Does it matter which day you worship God on? The fourth commandment says, Six days shall you labor, but the seventh day of the week is God's Sabbath day. For nearly 2,000 years, people have disagreed about which day, Saturday or Sunday, is the Christian day of weekly worship. Is this an important issue or does it really matter when the Christian performs his worship activities? The crux of the matter is simply this. Who are you obeying when you present yourself before God to worship Him? Get the facts by ordering Sunday Worship, How Sunday Worship Really Came About. Order by writing to Church of God, Rocky Mount, 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. That's Church of God, Rocky Mount, 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151.